Bhagavad Gita, verse 4.18 One who sees action in inaction and inaction in action is truly wise among men. He is a yogi and transcendentally situated, even though he performs all sorts of activities. Sarardvarshini Of the three types of action, the tattva of action and inaction is explained in this verse, beginning with the word karmani. Personalities such as Janaka Maharaja, who were pure in heart, did not take sannyas, even though they were endowed with jnana. Instead, they performed non-action, akarma, by selflessly offering the fruit of their activity to Bhagavan, Nishkama Karma Yoga. Those who can see that this is not really action, karma, are themselves not bound by karma. A karma sannyasi whose heart is impure, who lacks real knowledge and who possesses a mere intellectual knowledge of the scriptures, can only deliver exalted speeches. But those who can see action in the non-action of such sannyasis and who realize that bondage to action or karma only leads to a miserable destination are actually wise. The pure-hearted person mentioned above performs all types of karma but does not completely reject the performance of prescribed duties, meaning he does not accept karma sannyasa. On the other hand, there are so-called karma sannyasis who consider themselves to be knowledgeable, but who are actually proud and garrulous. They do not seek higher association or follow the instructions of the scriptures. Rather, they only praise themselves. Those impure-hearted persons suffer miserable. Sri Bhagavan has also said, Srimad Bhagavatam 11.18.40-41 Sometimes a person who is bereft of real knowledge and renunciation makes a show of accepting Tridanda, the symbol of sannyasa, to maintain his life. This is condemned if his intelligence, which should direct the senses, is instead controlled by the fiercely strong senses and by the six invincible enemies. Lust, anger, greed, illusion, pride and envy. Such a person is the killer of his soul. Completely immersed in the endless material desires, he denies the worshipable demigods, his own self and even me who am situated within his heart. Thus he is ruined both in this world and in the next. Sarardvarshini Prakashikariti All karma performed by a Nishkama Karma Yogi is in action, a karma, in the form of karma sannyasa. Renunciation of the fruits of action constitutes his performance of Nishkama Karma. Although Nishkama Karma Yogis perform all types of action, they are not considered karmis of fruitive workers. For them, action and inaction are the same. On the other hand, so-called jnanis, who have artificially renounced their prescribed duties, but whose conduct is poor due to their impure hearts, who are proud and who praise themselves, are condemnable 